hello friends welcome to cloud tips so uh, today we are going to talk about uh, user authentication in azure active directory uh, user manning and uh, role based access control i mean how to provide uh, or privilege or grants to uh, roles to any user so uh, uh, let's first uh, try to log into azure portal and uh, uh, using your uh, administrator account so like I have already did you have to go to portal.azure.com and provide your administrator username and password to log into your uh, Azure portal so uh, once you log in let's uh, uh, let's spend up some time and talk about user authentication so when I talk about the user authentication so I mean uh, the interactive logon so interactive logon means a physical user can provide their uh, username and password and uh, try to log in. This is not a silent login. This is not the system initiated login. And such kind of user can be uh, in Azure uh, cloud or uh, we can say on on premises. And uh, with the help of Azure AD Connect tool, we can ping Azure uh, on-premises users to Azure Active Directory and uh, using the help of role-based access control uh, we can uh, grant some roles or we can uh, revoke roles to users so this uh, role-based access control is uh, not uh, I can say uh, only in the Azure Active Directory but can be in uh, multiple places but uh, here we can talk about only in Azure Active Directory so uh, let's dig into it and uh, try to create a new user. I mean, uh, let's say how we can manage users. So first of all, go to Azure Active Directory. Uh, you can see uh, in the left side menu, there is an option says users and groups. So let's talk about the users. So when you click on the users, you can see the list of users. So now you can see the list of users. This is the admin user I have uh, just created before, sometimes back for my myself. And this is the uh, my uh, live account and the one uh, the one which I have logged in in the Azure portal. And uh, this is my administrator account. Since um, I'm logged in the Azure administrator account, I can see the multiple options here uh, that is enabled for me. In fact, the, every option is enabled. If I select this user, I can see the other options are also enabled. So what all options are? The first of all, there is an option says new user, guest users. I, I can do a bulk operation, like bulk create, bulk invite and all. There is an option says reset password. Anytime I can log in and I can reset my password. If I wanted to enable a multi-factor authentication for any user, let's say I wanted to enable a or multi-factor authentication for this admin user I can select this and I can go to uh, enable the multi-factor authentication for this user I have already created multi-factor authentication video you can check my videos list I can also say delete user and this is just a column list option that I am seeing here so uh, let's say uh, let's do one thing let's delete this user and I will create a new user with the same name so that it won't confuse myself or anybody. So let's say I delete user. So delete users is very uh, quick, but still I wanted to show you something if that is be in the cache. So let's refresh the screen and let's say if that is gone completely. So you can see this is not gone completely. So what I can say is I can go to deleted users I can see there is nothing let's go back it's it's taking some time I uh, there might be the cache issue in Azure portal sometimes it take time to uh, remove the deleted users so let's do one more time let's see what is happening here let's do a hard refresh control plus f5 and we can see if that is gone or not if not, we'll try to log in again. So it is not uh, removing for me. So let's close this browser and try to open my email one more time. And let's go to portal.azure.com. So 
since I have uh, done a login multiple times, so through the SSO, it is signed in directly for me. But maybe in your case, it will ask you to provide some username and password. So that you have to provide of your admin setter account. Let's go and see if the user gone for us. All right. So now you can see I have just one user, the one that I have logged in. So let's create a new user and uh, see uh, how we can do that. So let's say create new user. So you can see there are two options. One is create user and one is invite user. So if you are going to invite user, that would be a guest user for your organization. So for now, uh, we'll see the create user option. So let's give a user new. I'm going to use the add with as a username and I'm copying this username for my reference. And I give the first for name of the user who is admin. I can also provide the uh, other details, but those are actually not required. So I'm not going to uh, invest my time on that. Uh, but you can anytime uh, go ahead and uh, put some nice details of the users. In the password, there is uh, two options, one auto-generate password and uh, the system initiated password. So uh, let's say I wanted a system in initiated password, I mean the auto-generate password. Let's say this password would be a temporary password. So I'm just copying in for my reference. There are a bunch of other details, but those are not required. So let's say create. All right, so user creation is very quick. The user is now created for us. Uh, we have given a name as admin to this user, but uh, so far we have not provided any uh, role to this user. So uh, it will not behave as its name suggested. I mean, it will not behave as an admin. It will behave as a normal user. So let's see how this uh, user is behaving. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, try to log in uh, in a different browser. I'm opening a new private window. Uh, let's go to portal.azure.com and we have copied the username and the temporary password. So I use this temporary password for login. So username I provided. So it will ask me to provide the password as well. Let's copy this password. Say sign in. Now it will ask me to create a password, I mean update the password. So since that was the temporary password, so you have to provide some uh, a new password with some complexity rule so that we have to provide. Uh, now the confirmation is saying I wanted to stay sign in with this user uh, in the portal. So since I have used this uh, uh, private window, so if I say yes or no, that doesn't matter to me. So let's say no. All right, so now I have logged in with my newly created user. So let's go uh, and see how it behaves in Azure Active Directory. Let's search the Azure Active Directory. There it is. All right, let's go to users list. Okay, now the newly created user can see the list of users, though we can see here, but it cannot create a new user. But it can actually create a new guest user. It can do the bulk operation, but only invite, not create. It cannot do the multi-factor authentication. It cannot go for deleting the user, but it can reset their own password. So these are such an uh, example of restriction of the normal user. So let's do one thing. Let's try to create or provide some uh, role to newly created user. And we can see 
after providing access how it will behave so for that we have to log in back to our uh, administrator account so let's go ahead and close this browser and switch back to the browser where i have already logged in with my administrator account and what we can do is we can uh, go to users detail i can uh, select this and inside that i can see a bunch of information of the user that we have not filled yet but anytime you can go and say edit and you can provide some nice details too about this user but for now we wanted to provide some uh, access to this user so let's go and say assigned roles so this is where the r back came into the picture let's say add assignments now you can say the bunch of role based access uh, controls are there so uh, you can provide access to uh, multiple roles to this user or uh, the best fit as per your requirement to this particular user but from now i wanted to make this user as a global administrator so i can search the global administrator that is here and i'll say add that's it so now the role is assigned to this user and this uh, admin user should behave and global administrator so let's quickly verif verify that uh, uh, what all other users are there in global administrator so let's go back to home and say azure active directory and you can see there is an option say roles and administrator this is the same option that we've seen just before some time and let's say global administrator you can see the, the same bunch of roles just scroll a bit go to global administrator now you can see the list of users inside the global administrator so that this confirms that uh, your both users are part of global administrator all right so let's try to log in back with this admin user and uh, we can see that uh, if this user is able to uh, manage users or not so let's open a private window again go to the azureportal.com choose the same username the username will be always same provide your updated password let's say no All right, let's go to Azure Active Directory quickly. Go to users list. There you go. Now you can see the new user option is enabled. And the other options are also enabled. Like I can do a bulk operation. All the options are enabled multi-factor authentication is enabled so i can do all the operation that what i can do with my uh, live account so uh, this is how we can provide our uh, roles to any user if you want uh, 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 we can uh, remove the rules from uh, of the any user if you have administrator role and uh, this is how we can manage users and uh, using uh, Azure Active Directory. So that's it guys from uh, this demo and hope you like and enjoy this video. Uh, please subscribe and uh, support uh, uh, so that I can provide a different kind of uh, Azure's, uh, Azure resources options to you guys. And please comment uh, if you need any specific topic to cover. Thank you so much for your time.